He's on your right. Joshua Satterfield is on your left. And we'll get an idea right now how things are going to go in this Elves vs. Humans matchup. Job, a face you may be familiar with. He did win three weeks ago in Atlanta with Rudy Briska. And let me try to get this name right. Brian Abusaka. They won our team open with the debut of Dominaria. And we'll see if more Dominaria debuts here in Modern as we'll start things off with a Cavern of Souls, of course, naming humans, champion of the parish. And we are underway here from Louisville in round number one. It'll be interesting to see what players kind of think they're going to be up against this weekend. If, if I'm playing this weekend, and I know Modern is a very diverse format, my default is I think I'm playing against someone playing humans. Yes. It has just been doing so well. Um, it's been tearing up Magic Online, it's been tearing up the Grand Prix circuit, the SCG Tour circuit, everywhere. This has been the deck to beat. No one's really come up with a great solution, but I do think that Elves is a pretty good counter. It makes a lot of sense to me. Like I, I, like I said, the vulnerability to this human's deck is it doesn't just interact with creatures all that well. And so if you can win quickly primarily through creatures in a way that largely ignores combat, that's hard for humans' defensive uh, measures to handle. Satterfield's going to name Elvish Archer there with the meddling mage. Champion of the Parish got a counter come across here for two. Job will fall down to 18. Job started things off pretty easy. Just a Cavern of Souls naming Elves along with a Llanowar Elf. He'll play a Wooded Foothills now. And that really speaks to where humans is vulnerable. Naming something like Elvish Archer instead of Court of Calling or Collective Company. Uh, the human stack is just at a baseline much better at handling opposing spells than opposing creatures. Joe will search for a basic forest off of that fetch. He'll fall down to 17. We'll see what his turn two play will be. Again, re gotta remember, Elves has the ability to dump its hand very, very quickly. Normally on turn two, it will involve Heritage Druid to do so, and there is a Heritage Druid. This is a copy of Land of War Elves. Now three green in the mana pool here for Job. The Elvish Visionary will draw a card. One green left over. Picks up a forest. Play another Heritage Druid and pass the turn back. So it does a nice job of flooding the battlefield here. Not the biggest creatures on Earth, but access to quite a bit of mana as we head back over to Satterfield for his third turn of the game. Another Ancient Zigger out there for Joshua. We'll see if there's any attacking to be done, or if he wants to play anything pre-combat. Here is a little bit of mana. This will be a Mantis Rider. Trigger the champion. Looks like Meddling Mage is going to hang out at home. I think that's a pretty good place for it, as he comes for three in the air and three on the ground, six total. See if Job wants to do any blocking. Yep, Meddling Mage right now could be double blocked there by Job, and I guess Satterfield uh, feeling like he cannot possibly risk an Arch Druid at this point. This is where Humans kind of gets its advantage. Big creature kind of early. Champion of the Parish in a weird way kind of plays a role of Wild Nacoddle here. And then we can't really ignore the flying ability on Mantis Rider. That's a pretty big deal in matchups like this. Well, definitely. I mean, Job is going to be able to get to a spot where he can chump block on the ground pretty easily while he waits to draw one of his big plays. Uh, the air is where Satterfield can get an advantage here. Elves doesn't interact with that very easily. So Mantis Rider, one of Satterfield's better threats in the matchup. Back over to Job we're going to go now for his third turn. As Jonathan has fallen down to 11. Again, with this Elves deck, it's all about the payoffs now. Does he have Azuri? Does he have Cord? Does he have Company? Archerud off the table here this weekend because of that meddling mage, at least for right now. And it looks like Job does have a copy of Collective Company in hand. Might be trying to figure out what the best attacks are here. Might be debating between main phase and waiting until combat for the Collected Company. I think he's so unlikely to blow Satterfield out in combat by waiting that I would probably just collect a company here and see if you can proceed. Looks like Job does agree with you, so he'll take a look at the top six cards, see if he can find two to put onto the battlefield. Elves a deck with a little bit of a pedigree here on the SD Tour. I think of Ross Merriam most when it comes to this deck, especially in Modern. His team of Tan and Grace and Brennan DeCandio got second place in Baltimore a couple of weeks ago. Coming up just a little bit short as Merriam was playing Elves that weekend. Might be playing Elves again here this weekend in Louisville. His company will put an Elvish champion and a Shaman of the Pack on the battlefield. So Shaman of the Pack is going to hit pretty hard here. 
And that's a card we'll take a look at here. Satterfield does fall down to 13. And I suppose we have to take a look at Elvis Champion, too. That's one you probably know. Oh, yeah. I think that's from, uh, that's an invasion joint, I oh, think, yeah. if memory serves. Looks like you might be tapping for a little bit of mana here, perhaps. Which the, uh, with the Arc Druid. And now here's Lead the Stampede main deck. So, Joe will take a look at top five. He'll take all the creatures with him. And, of course, he'll have to reveal them. And he's revealed quite a few there. With them, it looks like another copy of Shaman in the pack, potentially two. But there you do see the Elf Shaman. When there is the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to the number of Elves you control. This also seems like a nice way to fight the humans matchup here a little bit as sometimes the board gets sticky and you can't attack, but it's not exactly like the human deck is keeping you off of having a critical mass of elves in play. Horizon Canopy will allow Satterfield to draw a card, but I think Joshua knows he's in a little bit of trouble now. Job is going to be able to win this game without having, uh, I, I think, without having to engage in combat. Kite Sail Freebooter going to show two copies of Shaman of the Pack over there among other things. They resolved that one pretty quickly. One, because Freebooter had nothing to take, but two, because Satterfield knows Job's entire hand from that lead the Stampede. You'll have Mantis Rider come across in the air a little bit, but we're going to head back over to Job, who's at eight life, moving to his fourth turn of this game. I mean, just Shaman of the Great Pack triggers, I think, should be able to take it down from here. Well, it looks like Maybe. he can play one. I don't know if he can play two. I think he can, but he can probably just play enough stuff out of his hand here where just... Trigger a Shaman and attack with what I have available. Sure. Should be good enough. We shall see. That'll be a Darwin's Elite. That's not one, but two Elves. There's three mana. Black floating. This is another copy of Shaman of the Pack. This is a pretty healthy one here. Yeah, that's for 10, I think. So this attack should mop yep. it up. That'll do it. Jonathan Job is going to win game number one here over Joshua Satterfield. It looks like it's going to be green-black elves here for Job today, not green-white. Typically, with the green-white version, you'll see a main deck copy of Vizier of Remedies to be able to make infinite mana with Devoted Druid and some powerful white sideboard cards like Rest in Peace of Stony Silence, but Job has opted to start some main deck copies of Shaman of the Pack, four of them to be exact. So we'll examine this deck a little bit more, but first a couple of words and messages from our sponsors.
as we take a look at the sideboards here. We will start with Joshua Satterfield, who has two Is a Static Caster, two Graph Digger Scage, two Zathra Necromancer, two Oria Champion, two Sin Collector, a Dismember, a Reclamation Sage, a Kataki Wars Wage, a Selfless Spirit, and a Hostage Taker. What do we like here and why? Well, the two copies of Is a Static Caster are exactly for this kind of matchup. A lot of one type of creatures on the other side of the table. Uh, the one copy of Dismember seems fine. Uh, I, I don't. I think Hostage Taker is too slow for this matchup, but if he just wants to to bail on four of the, you know, more anti-spell measures, I could see bringing in the Hostage Taker also. For Job, we've got four thoughts. He's three Leyline of the Void, two Stain the Mind, two Damping Sphere. A heroic intervention, a Fracturing Gust, a Chameleon Colossus, and a Reclamation Sage. Doesn't really look like much. Same 60. Yeah, I had a feeling I you just, might say that. Just same 60. I wouldn't mess around here. Job wants to keep his deck, you know, uh, sideboarding in these cards is a pretty big opportunity cost too because he got a caught Elves, and the deck's all about getting as many Elves on the table as possible, and nothing here seems great. Well, same 60 as what Patrick says. We'll see if Job opts to go that way as well as we get ready here for game number two. Satterfield already taking a look here at his opening hand. He's going to keep it. We'll see about Job as well. We'll see if Job is happy. He is happy, happy. These players will be given the green light here in just a moment. And Joe, we're going to take a little sip of the old Red Bull. Let's get this party going. There is an Aether Vial. This Cavern of Souls, of course, naming human. Wins up teeth will bring Job down to at least 19, potentially 17. And we'll just be 19 there with the basic forest. Now, which one-mana elf does he have? He's got an elvish mystic. So head back over to Satterfield. He'll tick his vial up to one. This will be a champion of the parish. And that'll be a horizon canopy. And Satterfield will simply pass the turn back over to Job. Job will play another basic forest. That'll be a second land. And now he'll play a copy of Lanowar Elves. The follow-up is another copy of Lanowar Elves. And now an Elves of the Deep Shadow. An activation of Vile here from Satterfield on Job's end step will bring another champion of the parish, which will trigger the first. He's got a 2-2 two, two and a 1-1 one, one heading into his third turn, but we have a feeling, Patrick, those will be a little bit larger than that. Yes. And, and this is a, a big moment here for Satterfield if he can deploy... One of his three drops this turn, Reflector Page, or especially is a Static Caster, uh, might be able to get enough size on the battlefield to start attacking and keep Job off balance for a little bit. If he misses a three here, uh, he might not get to untap. Well, I don't see that hand there, Mantis Rider. I think there's a Reflector Mage in there as well, so I think he was hoping to peel a land, and it looks like he didn't get to do that, so he can only attack here for two. And he will pass the turn back. Really needed a third land there to Joshua Satterfield. So we head back over to Jonathan Job. Job will draw a card. Let's see how crazy he can go. He's got access to at least six mana this turn. Looks like Job might be starting with a collective company. And he will be. So he'll take a look at the top six. Let's see what Job found. Looks like he may have only found one. Okay, there we go. Heritage Druid and Shaman of the Pack. Shaman of the Pack's going to trigger for six. Satterfield going to fall down to 14. It's a much more damage based build of elves here this weekend. Well, the Shaman of the Great Pack is definitely trying to prey on. Uh, the fact that a lot of the top decks are not playing much creature removal right now. That's what it comes down to. If you're playing against a bunch of Bolts and Fatal Pushes and uh, Grim Lava Mancers, I think Shaman of the, Deep pa uh, uh, of the Dark Pack is not the proper way of building the deck. Shaman of the Pack. Uh, not the proper way of building the deck. But if people are not 
interacting with your table very much, then this seems great. Yep. This is a really good metagame call. I mean, he basically won game one totally outside of combat. Yep. And the Black Splash is simple in this deck. Right, a couple of overgrown tombs, Elves of the Deep Shadow, and Cavern. And, and you know, a couple of miscellaneous lands, and he's you're got, there. He's got some of the old Lorwyn favorite there, Guiltleaf Palace. The, the Palace, there you yep. Go. Forgot about that one. Bit of a freebie. There's an overgrown tomb that on the battlefield tapped. All right. Vile up to three. We know the goodies are going to start coming now, but they might be too late. Yeah, I mean, even if you had Staticaster this turn, um, that, that just might be too slow. Looks like Satterfield's going to take one. Fall down to 13 from Horizon Canopy to play. Thaddeus Lieutenant. Trigger on the stack. He's going to activate the Vile. He knows how this deck works. There's his Static Caster. So you do that so that the Static Caster can also get the counter. So the champions are going to grow. The Static Caster will also get a counter. Thaddeus Lieutenant will see the Static Caster enter the battlefield. So that's why it has a counter. And now all the humans have gotten much larger. Here come the Knuckleheads. 5-5 five, five and a 4-4 four, four champion. They grew very quickly, but that's something this human stack does very well. Yeah, it's possible here that Job wants to chump block with the Elvish, uh, one of the Lanawar Elves, as that might just get lost to the Static Caster anyway. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's just saying, no thanks. Because I guess if he chump blocks there, then he can uh, shoot the Nettle Sentinel instead and cut off a lot of mana. Oh, here's another Collective Company from Job. So in response to that Static Caster activation, we can have another Shaman of the Pack deal a lot of damage here, folks. There it is. He only found one card, but it's a pretty good one there. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven. Satterfield's going to fall down to six. And now I think just combat kills him, right? I think, uh, yeah. He's showing you another sure. Shaman of the Pack. That'll do it, too. So Jonathan Job with Shaman of the Pack aggro.